Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about clan battles. So I just wanted to walk through a couple of the comps that I talked about in the clan battle preparation video because as we know, preparation is one thing, but actually executing them or trying them out and making sure that they work is another thing. If you guys are in like the top 10, top 25 clans, you guys already know this video is not for you. Chances are top 10, top 25, you guys already have like the best timelines, you know, like this and that. And to be honest, I have not hit any boss aside from boss five right now. And so like these might be a little bit shaky. So I just ran a couple of comps for each of the bosses and I just wanted to go through them and say like kind of a couple of the different substitutes because not everyone's going to have the Makoto, not everyone's going to have the Jun, not everyone's going to have like the five star Shiori, the five star Hiyori, the five star Suzuna, all of that. So with that being said, let's hop into the video and we are going to start with boss one. Boss one should be so familiar to you guys. Like this is already a prime example of what not to do. What I mean by what not to do is that you should not be running this comp into boss one. And I will show you guys exactly why. So you can see over here, you see that Saren is literally about to TP charge, right? And so what's going to happen is that she is going to actually TP charge that Shiori over there. Because of some weird mechanic with Wyvern, Saren actually TP charges Shiori because Shiori ends up closer than Makoto. So I'm going to play this and then you're going to see Shiori's TP bar shoot up and then she's going to be able to UB. And so here we go and then boom, there you go. And that is not exactly what you want. What you really want if you're running this type of comp is for that Saren TP boost to go into the Makoto so that you get more defense down. And so what exactly should you run for boss one then? Well, let me show you. Something more like this. So if you guys are like close to max level, like level 100, level 102 and stuff, like you guys should be able to do this. So as you can see, this is a Kaori face tank with Makoto, Kokoro, and we've got Mitsuki, we've got Suzuna. A couple of different options. So instead of Suzuna, you definitely could use Shiori or Arisa. Typically speaking, where I see Suzuna, I usually think like Hiyori is gonna work. However, the other ones are like kind of like irreplaceable, especially like Yukari. You actually need like a Kari 4 star in order to be able to tank up until Kokoro switches. And so let me go forward a bit and you guys will see like the Kokoro switch happen. So Kari is going to take a significant amount of damage and then you can see that Kokoro has a TP bar up. And then so what's going to happen here is we're going to actually use the Kokoro switch. And what that means is that Kokoro is going to do the trash last forward and then I'm going to UB and then she's going to stay in that position. All right, with that being said, let's play this and then we'll see Kokoro do it soon. I actually cannot remember whereabouts it this it should be very very soon about about here the next one yep try slash and then ub and then you can see kokoro is actually in front of kari so she will be taking all of the auto attacks and so you can see after mitsuki finishes her ub we're gonna see like kokoro start taking damage so you can see that right kokoro is starting to take damage and then your kari is actually free here so it's for this reason especially if you're towards like the mid end game like i would recommend a comp like this again the requirement for this is kind of like your four star kari and potentially like a three or four star kokoro if i remember correctly i think since cb1 we've been able to use kokoro swap like this on Wyvern. And so honestly, like a three-star Kokoro should work for this. Okay, so what if you can't run all of this? Then I would probably recommend replacing either the Kokoro or the Susana with a Miyako. And again, this is targeted for more of the players like who are not quite at the end game yet. So the point of taking out Kokoro is that Miyako is just going to sit in front of Kaori, Makoto, and everyone else. And she's just going to make the run very, very safe. Miyako just has like a very, very low chance of dying, especially if it's just towards Wyvern. Also on top of that, I'm relatively confident if your units are like at three stars or above, they should be able to survive without a tank and this is kind of generally like the idea up until like boss 5. All right with that being said let's move on to boss 2. Boss 2 is actually where I favor this comp the most. I don't know if this is still like the best comp but this is honestly like the best most basic auto set and forget kind of comp. You got Jun, Kari, Makoto, Saren and Shiori and if you don't have Jun then a substitute again is Miyako. However in this scenario we are going to see the Saren TP boost the Makoto so you can see TP oh yep there we go and there you have it Makoto's TP bar is actually almost full she did not TP boost the Shiori and so so this is the intended behavior of this comp. You want the Makoto to be shredding the Griffin as much as possible. Okay, so like with that being said, like you can see it already. Makoto is going to UB and then we're going to have Shiori UB and then we're going to have Kari UB. It's also kind of like, it's it's all like in sync already. We don't really have to do too much with this one. However, again, I don't know if this is like kind of the best comp to run here. I personally think this is like one of the easiest comp, especially because it is audible. And honestly, you're going to see this comp like come up over and over. It's just that with some of the bosses, they're going to be like chunking you and they're going to like really, really hurt. And an example, of that is like boss four boss four like you guys already know it's like the grizzly bear and he just like swipes you and everyone kind of dies you know what i'm saying like so i've actually caught the video at a very very crucial moment you can see that makoto and kari both have their ubs up however the griffin is about to slam us the better play here would be to actually spam makoto and kari's ub before he's able to do this so what i would actually do is record down this time at like about 0:45, and then remember at about 0:45, i want to be spamming makoto and kari's ub 
to make sure that they actually get TP gain from the Griffin you being them. So yeah, that's definitely one optimization that I would do, but yeah, I digress. Honestly, I'm not sure if there is a better comp for Griffin, like perhaps like a face tank one, especially because we are at level 102 now and Griffin, as you can see, is still at level 85. So I do suspect that we could replace Jun with like another character, somebody that's even further behind than Shiori. That's probably the only character that could possibly replace Jun. Otherwise, you're going to want to take this Saren and Makoto team out. Honestly, I would probably try something like the Kokoro switch from before and try it on this boss. I remember back in the earlier days, like that actually didn't work because this boss just actually hurt too much. But again, since we are at level 102, you know, it's definitely a possibility. But yeah, if you guys are more in the mid game, kind of like the level 80s or 90s, I'll definitely suggest a comp like this. And if you don't have Jun, then you want a Miyako. On top of that, if you don't have Makoto, you're going to borrow it because like Makoto is seriously like the best defense down character. There are charts that actually say that Makoto helps double your damage for like the duration of the fight. Not the whole duration, but like for long periods. Okay, so what if you don't have Saren? Then I would say like a lot of possibilities open up. Again, it's just going to be your physical DPS. It's like your Hiyori. It's going to be your Rei. It's going to be your Eriko, you know, units like that. Arisa, Susana, you guys already know the CB units. Okay, moving on, let's go to boss three. And for boss three, I'm going to be running something like this. And I did mention this like Shinobu tech. And the reason why I'm running a team that looks like this is because like I've run a lot of teams that kind of use the same characters. I kind of wanted to showcase something a little bit different because a lot of the teams that we used in boss one and boss two, you can actually use in boss three, four and five. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase something a little bit different, especially for this guy, because like this ninja bug guy is a little bit different to say the least. So as you can see here, what I did was I actually used Summer Kokoro and this is not exactly the greatest idea. And the reason it's not the greatest idea is because Summer Kokoro is healing, but that can only be a good thing. So obviously if you are at like a lower star count, then like, you know, this is going to work really well for you. However, the issue with this is that Miyako is never like close to dying. She is just like always, everyone is always like kind of full health. And so I think what I did here is I actually quit and then I replaced the Miyako with like another damage dealer. I was like, man, this guy actually does not do much damage at all. And so I was like, yeah, look, look right there. And then so if I play through this, you're just going to see that Summer Kokoro is going to keep the Kari topped up. And essentially Kari is never really at risk of dying. I think up until the very end, let's have a look. So we're at eight seconds now. You can see everyone is still healthy. Everyone is still pretty swell. In addition to that, Shinobu Skull, the Skull Daddy, like he does help tank a couple of hits. And so I can definitely see this one actually working for like three or four star Kari's as well. Okay. And that is kind of it. Whoa, look at that crit. That was actually massive. Holy moly. Okay, let's move on to boss four then. Oh my God, this guy is actually crazy. So like I said, I use the Jun comp here. I think that this is such, it's just such a great comp. This like Saren Makoto defense down combo. I just freaking love it. I love that it stayed in relevance. Well, I think up until like now. The fact of the matter is that it actually remains like probably one of the best auto comps in the game right now, I would say, because like it just really plays itself out. Like, you know, you Makoto defense down and then everyone kind of like slams their hits and then Makoto gets defense down again and then everyone slams their hits again and so let me see if I actually run something else over here so as you can see like I recorded a whole bunch of footage and I don't have any more footage but mm, okay let me think about like you know if I couldn't run this what else would I run boss 4 is not one that I can confidently face tank I've already seen like the amount of damage that my Makoto and the Jun are taking and the Kari as well because like this is not a true indication of the damage what we've got throughout the fight is that Jun is constantly healing the rest of the characters and so I think my first instinct would be definitely to put a Miyako in. The Bear Wolf Man, he does massive physical damage. And honestly, I reckon like he wouldn't scratch a Miyako. Aside from that, if you're insistent on trying to run this comp, however, you're not surviving, I might actually would recommend like maybe a Yui at the back. I think Yui actually stands behind the Saren. And so Yui is actually able to not steal that TP gain from Makoto. And on top of that, Yui is going to be constantly buffing up your physical defense as well as topping everyone up. So yeah, that's another option. Maybe Kiaru as well. Kiaru has a physical defense down. It's very, very small, but it's another option option that could work, especially for like some of you madmen. I know some of you have like freaking five star Kiaris, but only like two star Shiori. So this is freaking crazy guys. So guys, let's have a look at boss five and I already knew it. This is the comp that I run. Like this is just such a freaking good comp. You can see I've got a three star Jun and I'm still running it into this guy, right? I, like I just think like, you know, I said this before, but like this is just such a freaking good comp because it is such a classic. It's worked since like day one of CB, like first CB and it's still working. The fact is like, I'm going to be looking for like potentially any vulnerability. So at any point, if we have like, you know, HP is going a little bit too low, then I would say, okay, maybe you guys can't do it. Maybe like a three-star team wouldn't work. But to be honest, I think like at no point does he actually get them. Okay, wait a second. That was looking a little bit shifty. But this is at 10 seconds left. Okay, I think it's fine. Honestly, I think this is fine because I see 12 seconds. I see like this level of HP. I reckon about three stars, everybody is going to survive all of this. However, this is if you have Jun. Again, Jun is going to be healing your gang. So yeah. And again, on top of that, you're going to be looking for like the Miyako if your Jun cannot handle this, especially if
if you don't have the levels, I think that's probably going to be the biggest thing. Remember guys, you cannot use Nozomi where you use Kari. And so I think we've talked about this comp like way too much. So let's move on. Let's see what I use next. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this one here. Okay, so this is an interesting one because you have Suzuna, Mitsuki, Hiyori, and Makoto here. What you're going to notice is that there is an absence of a Kari. So that means that you can run a Miyako here. However, I wouldn't recommend running the Miyako here because you want that Miyako for that Jun comp that we previously talked about. Because there is no Kari here, if you need a tank, you actually want to run Nozomi here. And the reason is because you don't have a Kari, so therefore your Nozomi can stand in front of everyone else. Nozomi also does an AoE heal, and I think it's just going to work out really well. All right, let's move through this and see how we do. I'm pretty sure like everyone stays relatively healthy. Honestly, like that's not... Okay, hear me out, guys. Hear me out. So there is a dead Makoto there, okay? You know, I, I respect that. There is a dead Makoto. However, theoretically, if you're running this comp, you're probably going to be borrowing a Makoto. And if you could borrow like a five-star Makoto, this probably wouldn't happen to you. However, I did see that happen just at six seconds. And to be honest, I think that's fine because it means that Makoto has gotten off like the majority of her skills. So this is what we call probably like your trash team or like the team that you kind of just like put random stuff together. So here I'm looking and everyone's looking pretty good. Like honestly, Susuna and Mitsuki are both looking a little bit shaky. I would say Susuna is a little bit more shaky four star might work but like i reckon three star is gonna die here and so again you guys already know the dps replacements however if your star level is too low or you are too low level then i would definitely like consider replacing suzuna or hiyori with a healer again it's gonna be the yui the misato the summer suzume like you guys already know what it is the aoe healers they're keeping the whole team topped up because this guy as you can see like he's doing majority of like aoe damage if i scroll back a bit you're gonna see like everyone's kind of like losing hp at like the same rate right everyone's getting chunked at the same time right and so it's for this reason that I would recommend like an AoE healer. However, again, if you can try and make it work without a healer, that would be awesome. All right, let's have a look at if I use any other comps. There's actually a lot of footage left, so hopefully there is another comp here. All right, let's have a look at the next one, which is again, another Miyako one. So this is, you guys can already see, like it's like a common feature, right? If you guys have been following like all of my CB videos, you guys already know, you're looking at two defense downs and you're looking at two DPS and potentially one tank. If you can get rid of the tank, you're gonna add a third DPS and that's kind of it. And so that's kind of the logic that I've been using to build each one of these comps. So this one, one survives. Okay, I think Makoto dies at the very end, and that's okay. So, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, poor Makoto. I think Makoto four star may just not cut it here. Even the Orisa is alive, and that's really something, right? But yeah, that's the comp for the pre and rage. So, unfortunately, I did not have the chance to actually test anything on the post and rage. But using the same kind of logic, right? Like two defense downs, a tank, and two DPS. That's kind of what you should be starting out with. And then, like, take away the tank if you can, because, like, you know, you have a buff Makoto or a buff Kari up the front. And then away you go, right? So, your physical defense down units, you've got Makoto. Koto, you've got Mitsuki, you've got Summer Kokoro now, which is incredible. You've got Shinobu, and last but not least, you've got Jun, who doubles up as a tank, which is really, really nice. Okay, honestly, that's essentially it. Wow, that's a lot of footage for like a lot of dying as well. But yeah, I think the key comps are the ones up the front. This is commonly referred to as the team one because like the core of the comp really is like the first four characters. So I'm saying the Kari, the Makoto, the Kokoro, and the Mitsuki. The Susuna sometimes does get replaced, I think, by like Hiyori, Arisa, Shiori. However, Shiori should be in your team two, which is a nice segue into team two. But yeah, before we get there again, this is typically what we look at for team one. But yeah, if you're able to run this comp without a Miyako or like even with a Miyako, so you could take out like Kokoro, or you could take out like Susana, then that'd be a really, really good team one. And then what we commonly refer to as team two is this guy over here, which is that uh, Jun one. This is the, like the team two. Team two, typically, this one is like almost 100% static. It just performs so well that typically you don't replace anyone here. So like, you know, if you needed another DPS here, I would look at like Hyor, or like uh, Arisa. But otherwise, yeah, that's your team one and team two. And then you got your team three, which is kind of like, you know, random stuff mashed together. So I'm talking stuff like this, right? Typically, you won't have a Kari here. And so you're going to have like a Nozomi instead. However, if you can face tank, like instead of the Kari, I'd probably put the Makoto on face tanking and then potentially replace this Kari with like uh, Arisa, for example. But yeah, that's kind of it for the video, I think. That was probably a pretty exhaustive look at it. Again, if you guys like top 10, top 25, you guys already know this isn't really it for you guys. You're coordinators or like your CB leaders or whoever, they're probably going to have like way better comps like lined up for you. This is again aimed more at the people that like don't really have these comps. Again, I mentioned so many replacements like the Miyako for the Jun instead. Literally anyone standing behind Shiori for this one over here. And then if I come back over to team one, like honestly, everybody should have all of these characters except potentially Makoto. And Makoto here, honestly, you can borrow like every freaking time. So guys, aside from that, I looked at like a scrap team, kind of like this, your team three. Kind of just like throw everything in together and try and make it work. I also 
also ran through a couple of different scenarios for where you could face tank. And when you can't face tank, you just literally got to use a Miyako or a Nozomi. Honestly, that's really it. And I hope you guys enjoyed these fights because like a lot of them were really like not really the best. Honestly, guys, at this point, I've only attacked boss five, which is a little bit weird. And for boss five, I was able to use like this comp. So this is the comp that I'm using for boss five. And I'm also actually using team one for boss five as well. So if you guys remember, it's uh, this one over here, except I think I'm actually using Summer Cockro. Actually, wait, I might not have already shown it here. Yeah, so this one right here. So this is the team that I'm using for boss five as well. Honestly, I quickly simmed like the rest of these guys and hopefully like this is going to help you a little bit. But yeah, aside from that, let's kind of wrap up the video. I think there's not too much to talk about. I've got a secret question for you guys and how are you guys going in the CB? I'm going okay, except I've thrown all of my hits into the lion. So it's been a little bit boring for me, but it's also because like I've been a little bit too busy. So they're kind of like, oh yeah, throw them into the lion. And I'm like, yeah, okay, you know what? Fair enough, fine. But honestly, I've been doing okay, but that's enough about me. I want to hear about how you guys are going. So yeah, drop that in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see. But on top of that, leaving a comment is showing that you have reached the end of the video and I am very grateful for that. And so thank you. Moving on with the ending sequence. If this video has helped you or you found it kind of entertaining, consider a like, a sub, a comment, a pen, a follow. You guys already know what it is. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.